of wives. This week's video is going to be all about insecurity, ladies. I know that I have had my own insecurity, so this is why I'm going to do a two part video this one's going to be about how insecurities are developed and the next video is going to be on how you can deal with them okay so the first reason why i feel that insecurities are developed is through rejection and failure and it can start when you are when you're a child a lot of people develop their insecurities as children because the people that should have loved them the most rejected them Whenever you went to tell your, your mom or your dad that you wanted to be something or that you wanted to do something, they either dismissed you or they made you feel like your idea was stupid. As children, we they take everything in. They're sponges. So when they come to you, they want to feel a sense of acceptance. And when you make them feel like they're not accepted, that gets embedded in them and it will grow to a very ugly monster. Failure is something else that tends to get people to be insecure. People are defined by their accomplishments. So if their marriage didn't work out, if their job didn't work out, if their, if their uh, business didn't work out, then they will define themselves on those failures. And that is not the way to do things. Failures are not to make, not to break you. They're to make you stronger. We should learn from our failures. You know, as an entrepreneur myself, every time I get to a point where I fail in some aspect of my business, I take that and I learn from it. I do better. I don't, I don't change where I'm trying to go. I just change how I'm getting there. So, um, what people tend to do is take the, take their failures and say, okay, well, I failed, so I'm, I, I can't do this. This is, not, this is not for me. But that is a wrong mind frame that you need to have. You need to have a better mindset that when you fail, when something happens or something doesn't work out, that just means that there is something greater for you. You just have to figure out how you're going to get to that greater. And lastly, I want you to think about the fact that, you know, in rejection, I want you to think about, you know, traumas. I want you to think about things that have happened to you. You know, being married, you know, you might have went through where your spouse had cheated on you or your spouse was being abusive to you. I want you to understand that people's react, people's actions have nothing to do with you. They have something going on within, within them. And a lot of abusers, a lot of narcissists, a lot of manipulators will try to project their issues onto you so they don't have to deal with themselves. And the victims tend to take all of that pain, take all of that shame, and take all of that, uh, that anger. And what they will do is they will start to define themselves by that. Well, because he beats on me, that must mean that I'm worthy, that I'm, I'm supposed to be beating on. Because, and a lot of it is developed probably because you've seen your mother or you've seen someone in your life that they took all of that, they dealt with all of that. So it, naturally you feel like that you should do the same thing, but that is not right. That is not good. That is not the way that life is supposed to be. You know, they hurt you and it wasn't your fault that they hurt you, but it is your uh, choice on how you want to go forward after the pain. Pain is supposed to change you, but how it changes you is up to you. Social anxiety. I actually deal with this one. And the main reason why I deal with this one is because through a lot of, I guess, racism. You know, my husband is Hispanic. I am black. And a lot of times when we go together to places, we get these very ugly looks and even from our own kind, from our own people. So it makes us not even want to go out at times. It makes us feel like we're, you know, you know, we don't deserve to be in certain places because of the way that we look, you know. And then my husband is, you know, he has a big beard. He has tattoos all over his arms. So people tend to look at him differently, which I, I don't have a problem with him. But um, whenever you're in a place and you're around such negativity, it tends to make you feel uncomfortable. And it tends to make you feel like that you don't deserve to be in certain places. And that is insecurity. So I had to check myself on that one because at times I would make my husband feel a certain way because I would 
tell him, well, why don't you do this? Or why don't you be like this? And even for me and him, you know, he would tell me, well, why don't you do this? Why are you going to be less to this? And it's not because of who we love, not about each other, but it's because of what other people had to say about us. So be careful of how people will project their issues onto you because you will find yourself being insecure about something that really had nothing to do with you. It's just that you allowed someone else to plant a seed into your head and plant a seed into you. And now it has grown and now you, you have those feelings. Lastly, perfectionist. This is also something that I struggle with. If you are someone who has to have everything a certain way, you have to have your man a certain way, you have to have your kids a certain way, you have to have your car a certain way, you are going to go crazy when it doesn't go the way that you want it to go. You know, nothing is perfect in this world. No man is perfect. No child is perfect. And what we do is because you are a per perfectionist, not only will you have insecurities yourself, but you will force the people around you to have insecurities. That's a key thing. Because if you're a type of person that thinks that your husband should dress and act a certain way and he doesn't do that, you will make him start feeling like something is wrong with him. So insecure people will hurt and can hurt other people. They will cause other people to be insecure. So that's why it's so important for you to deal with your insecurities because you will try to project those insecurities onto your mate, onto your children. The fact that you have been hurt before and now you have a husband that really treats you really well, you're going to do things out of your insecurity that's going to force him to feel some type of way. It's not his fault that you experienced that pain. So now you're taking it out on him. It's not your fault that it's not your children's fault that you, you know, you went through certain things. And now because of the, your insecurities, you're talking to your kids any kind of way. You're downing them. You're making them feel less. And you're hurting, hurt people, hurt people. So I wanted, like I said, this is a two-part video. I'm going to do a video tomorrow all about um, how to get over your insecurities. But I wanted to do this video because, like I say, it's very important for you to understand why you have something in order for you to be able to tackle and conquer that thing. Um, you have to understand any remedy for any disease, they had to study disease in order to get the, um, the antibiotic or the remedy for the disease. So again, Wife Power TV, thank you ladies so much for joining me. Um, I will be posting a video tomorrow all about how to deal with your insecurities. So um, I can't wait for you ladies to see that one. Thank you so much as always for joining your girl for Wife Power. Uh, make sure you go and like us on Facebook. Make sure you like us on Instagram. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the YouTube video because I am always once a week trying to post a video to encourage you ladies about something different that I feel in our lives or in our marriages that you ladies should know. So until the next video, thank you ladies and y'all have a great evening.